all of the Biophysical Society's publications seek to bring the highest quality work and research to both the biophysical community and beyond, but each in their own specific ways. The editor of The Biophysicist joins us now in studio to explain. Pleasure to have you this morning. Thank you for having me. Let's talk a little bit about the focus of The Biophysicist. You focus more on nurturing education and scholarship. How do you accomplish that? So it's important to remember that as biophysicists, we are all educators, whether we are mentoring undergrads in our labs, whether we are teaching in the classroom, or we are training our grad students and postdocs to achieve their career goals. Uh, there are more structured pedagogical ways of doing this as opposed to an ad hoc way of doing this, and the biophysicist uh, seeks to bring together the knowledge that we've all accumulated over the years to do it in a more structured manner and to be able to disseminate it. So that way we don't have to reinvent the wheel mm -hmm. every time we run into education <laughs> challenges. That's our goal, is to make education more accessible in biophysics. Wonderful. What are your biggest trends that you're seeing right now when it comes to submissions and also um, the audience interest? So I think our, we have a current issue that we are working, a special issue we are working towards right now, which is focused on effective mentoring practices. Uh, we had a webinar on this uh, led by two editors of the journal in November. There was a phenomenal attendance, lots of participation, and that has led to, I think, about 10 plus submissions for the special issue where people are sharing uh, what has worked in terms of effective mentoring practices, including assessments and formal ways of making sure that mentoring is very effective in biophysics. So that's something we are very excited about. Uh, we are looking forward to putting out more special issues in the coming years, so stay tuned for that. Good. You, know, you are a little bit new to this role as editor-in-chief. Um, what is your goal for the biophysicist? So, um, I took on this leadership position um, in July of 2023, so very new. Mm -hmm. um, I um, took it on as more of a service than as a leadership because I, uh, when I interviewed for the position, this, what struck me the most in sort of what I can give back to the community is biophysics, biophysical society is my home, it's my scientific home. I've been coming here for a very long time now, first as a grad student, and uh, my group members joke that this is my biggest party of the year because <laughs> I run into everybody I know. And uh, I wanted to give back, and I was thinking about how many people, whether they were editors or reviewers or letter writers, have served to make uh, my uh, scientific career what it has become and can be, uh, and I wanted to give back. So that is my primary goal here, is service. Uh, my vision for the journal is it become the place where people can turn to, to look for um, articles on excellent education practices, pedagogical practices in the classroom and outside the classroom for all of our biophysics community. And you also have a background in engineering, which brings a very unique perspective to the position. Uh, yes, so uh, I have a very mixed background. Uh, my um, engineering background comes from my master's and my bachelor's, and my um, PhD is actually in biology. I've uh, been all over the place. I'm, uh, I've been a professor of mechanical engineering for 10 years without a single degree in mechanical engineering. <laughs> um, I teach, uh, I don't teach biophysics in the classroom. Mm -hmm. I, I, my undergrad teaching is primarily engineering. But I think when it comes to preparing your lectures, working with students, there are a lot of common practices. And then there's my course development work is in cell biomechanics. So I've learned a lot to communicate engineering to uh, biologists and biology to engineers. So it's been quite an interesting experience and I hope that will stand us in good stead for the society as I hope to serve them. Well, we're so happy to have you in this role and thank you for your time today, appreciate it. Thank you very much for taking the time.